Welcome to the Reflexive Property of Equality Calculator from MathCelebrity.com. In the next two to three minutes, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to lay out the reflexive property using a number. Now, any calculator I use in this video, I will put a link to it in the video description. So with that said, let's get started. Suppose we want to see the reflexive property in action for a certain number. We could say something like reflexive property of six. And so when we hit return, we jump to the calculator. So the first thing we do is walk through the definition. What is the reflexive property? Essentially, the reflexive property states a number equals itself, which sounds kind of silly, but there's properties that you can use this in later in math. So we've got this notation here, which is basically for all real numbers, x, and x can be any real number, equals itself. Now let's demonstrate this with the number. In this case, we entered 6. So if we take x as a real, we set it to 6. Since x equals itself, and x is 6, then 6 equals itself, because x equals x. So 6 equals 6. Again, this sounds ridiculous. But the reflexive property is important later in math when you use theorems and other properties. So let's take one more number just to show you this. Again, we'll take 12. We hit click reflexive property, and here we go. Again, we walk through the definition. For all real numbers, x equal to x, and x can be any real number. This time we pick 12. So x equals itself. We set x equal to 12. So 12 equals itself, and then we've got this closing statement here. Since 12 equals 12, we have demonstrated the reflexive property using the number 12. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you like what you saw in this video and you want to get other content for how to finish your homework at light speed, why not subscribe to our channel? So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.